Hey everybody, so I've been getting so many requests for a Megan Fox look. So um, I have one of her really popular fun looks that we're going to do today. So you can watch my video on how to get like the classic Megan Fox perfect kind of glowy skin look video. And then we're going to take, her look is so easy because it's just a few um, simple colors, really kind of like retro pinup look. So if you want, you can use a, um, an eye primer like the, like the MAC Paint Pots. This is in Soft Ochre, which is a little more yellow than their Painterly Paint Pot. And you kind of usually want to err on the side of more yellow than more pink. Because pink is the tone in the skin that you actually want to eliminate as a base color anyway. So we're putting a light layer of this on. You can use concealer as well too. So if you don't have this, don't worry, you don't have to go out and buy it. It just helps the makeup stay on a little longer. Then we're gonna just take um, some all over nude colors and I'm gonna show you a couple options that you guys can use. One is to use, this is nude from Bobbi Brown, so kind of any nude color is really gonna work with this. Also if you have a um, MAC palettes, Brulee, um, Naked Lunch, all of those are really great colors. Brulee is one of my favorites, Kid, Omega, all those that go along. So first you're gonna take your fluffy brush and we're just gonna apply Brulee, which is this kind of sheer nude color, or whatever matches your nude color for your particular skin type. And we're just going to wash this all over the lid. And this is going to be our, our nice base. And if you're darker in skin color, then of course use a darker color that matches. And if you're lighter, then keep matching it as well. Um, I'm also going to take a little bit of a warm color to kind of warm this up. I'm going to take this goldeny golden color from NAC. This is actually called Burnt Orange. And I'm just going to lightly wash it just to add a little more color because that was a little white for me. So it just gives a little more warmth back into the look. Frill is another good color from NAC that's kind of a yellowy base color too. So we're, that's pretty much it for the eye base. It's so easy and fast. Now a key thing to the Megan Fox look is very arched eyebrows. So you're going to take a really um, angled angle brush. You want it to be really precise, not, not a fluffy one is what I meant by that. And then you're going to take um, just the, something that goes with your hair color. My hair is pretty dark, so I'm going to use probably espresso or you could use um, charcoal brown or soft brown. I'm going to use the darker version because my eyebrows are pretty dark. And you want to make sure these are really precise angles because her look is very angled. So you're going to start on the top and just do a straight line up to the arch over here. And you can watch my video I did on how to get um, perfect eyebrows on shaping and tweezing. And it makes a huge difference. And these pinup looks look well for people that have eyebrows that are similar to mine with the really high arches and angled. And then you go straight up and down. And make sure all your lines are really straight and angled. That's the key to kind of the retro pinup eyebrow. You can already see the difference it's making. So we're going to start here. And go over and we'll get a little more and start at the bottom and go over with this angled line and then you're going to go up and then really work on getting this point straight. Other looks you want soft but for this one, for this particular look we want more angles. And you can use a pencil too. I just happen to like the soft look that um, that the shadow gives, but pencils are a great way to get really angled eyebrows. So there's the eyebrows, which look kind of dark because I don't have anything else on right now. And I'm gonna show you guys a really fun, um, you can use any kind of gray, or this is from Mally Roncall's line. Um, I got it in my little goodie box for winning the L um, contest because you guys voted for me. And um, it's a really fun kind of a steel blue color, so any kind of steel blue or dark gray is gonna work really well. So what you're going to do is you're going to go out to the side and you're going to create kind of like a, like you would with a liquid liner, but we're going to do it with this soft pencil. You're going to hold the eye out to the side. I'm getting close because I can't zoom because I don't have my remote. You're going to pull it out to the side and you're going to make this line thick and then it's going to taper in really thin like right where your eyelashes start growing and you're kind of going to stop right there. And then once you've stopped tugging on your eye, you can kind of see how far out you need to go with this. Same thing over here, hold this out to the side so we get this really thick line and then tape it really in right where the lashes grow. And the more that you hold the skin taut out to the side, the more it helps you do that. 
Okay, now this looks a little kind of too light of a blue for the look that I'm duplicating. And I'll show you the picture on my blog. I just can't show you on YouTube because of copyrights and things. So I'm going to take kind of a dark gray um, soot or print from MAC will work really well. And you can take your angle brush or you could take a little thin kind of flat guy like this. And I'm going to use print from MAC because it's a pretty dark gray. And I'm just going to go right over the line that I just made. And you always want to, anytime you have like a, a wet or creamy or oily color, you always want to dry it up or soak it up with, the, um, with a powder. And then I turn my angle brush out to the side so you can kind of get that little wing. And this is a classic look for her. She doesn't really do too much of the smoky look, but just this kind of really defined pinup look. And it's really, it's pretty on everybody. So I'm going to go over here. And these colors are universally pretty on everybody too. And again, taper real soft in towards where the lashes start growing. Get a little more color. And the layering just adds a subtle hint and a subtle change to each eye color. And it helps if you slightly look down, it helps you draw a straighter line. Which I can't see, but it may look like my eyes are closed just because I'm looking down into a mirror. And then just keep moving your eyeball around different places so you can see if you're making a crooked line. Then just go out and make this little point. And then we're going to go underneath with that same kind of grayish purpley color. And she always smokes out the bottom of her eyes. So it's just a gentle, I'm trying to show you guys what I'm doing. Go in here and just gently smoke this out to the side. Just fill all this in underneath. And there we go. And then you can take kind of like your more, whoops, that one is going on the floor, hang on. i fishing for brushes, so. Okay, now we have that color. And then you're just gonna gently kind of smoke these corners out just a little more. And I'm using quarry, it's kind of like a purpley, it's this color like a purpley kind of gray. Now I'm gonna go back with our print color. And I'm just gonna soften that line we did up here with this kind of more blendy brush. And there's really no other shading or contouring. It's pretty simple like this. Then we are going to get our eyelash curler, which is incredibly essential for this look. And we're going to curl near the roots and out near the ends. There I go, raising my eyebrows again. And then if, and if anybody needs a special tool, get an eyelash curler. This is from Japanesque, and I love it. It's amazing. So I'm going to put mascara on, but you guys already know how to do that. So I'll put that on, and then I'll come right back to say this time. Okay, so we're back with um, mascara on. Now I'm going to show you the trick to the real finishing touches on the pinup eye. You're going to take, this is my favorite. It's carbon from MAC because it's super black and inky. And you really want to work this outer angle. So you're going to hold your eye to the side, and you're going to really fill this in with black if in this crease just a little bit. And this is what's going to give it that pretty, you kind of want to do like a V-shaped wedge right here. And if you don't have a crease, just fake one. So we're just going to kind of gently blend that in. And off her look, she has a lot. She has false eyelashes on. And I'm just realizing my mirror is really far away. And I can't really see what I'm doing. So I can do it in the camera, but that gets a little weird. So once we get, you want to get the black corners because that really emphasizes and makes the eyes look great. I'm going to move my mirror and I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, that's so much better. So once um, you have that down, then you can take like a really light color, um, almost like Omega or Kid or something that goes along with the color scheme that you were using. I think I'm going to use, what is this? I will probably use like Omega, which is any of these neutrally colors that'll kind of blend really well. So you're just going to load those up and then you're just going to soften where you just blended with the black. And whenever you do that, it just kind of acts like a magical erasing tool, which is fabulous. And we'll just do it over here on this side with a really big fluffy brush. 
Then I'm going to show you guys how to do the, the, the lashes. First, we're going to do her lips, and we're going to use a couple different colors. This, uh, I'm going to show you a cheap one. This is from Sephora. It is number 12, and these are super cheap. And then this is from Estee Lauder, and it's pink, and it's 01. Or you can use, this one is Tea Rose, which may even be a little softer. I'm going to use that one. So we're going to start with her nude pink mouth, and we're just going to draw slightly below the lip line to create that dark shadow because her lower lip is really full. And then up and all the way to the corners. And to create the illusion of shade, you want to darken all the corners really well with your color. So just fill that in. And the good thing about this color, under the top, and again, do the sharp cupid's bow and then kind of curve outward because her lip is really full like that. Here out to the side, like so. And I just did a photo shoot the other day and kind of did a similar kind of pin y makeup look. If it's too pink for you, you can go over it with this nude color, which I think I might do on the top. And we'll leave the bottom on because we want that kind of full looking mouth. There's a couple different colors you can use for the nude mouth. Blankety is a good new one, which we might put a layer of. And it just gives a good base. And then you want like a really pinky shimmery color, and this is my new favorite color from NYX. It is Pink Frost, and I will put this on. And you will see why it is so fun. Because it just kind of gives you that shimmery nude mouth. And it tastes like, and it tastes like bubble gum, which I really like. So then you can always go over the cheeks with kind of like a goldy bronze or a pinky color. Um, these are some fun blushes that may look crazy when you see them at the store, but they're really great. So this is a really fun hot pink, which is what we might just dust on the, on the cheeks. And this is, so you know, deep pink. Any kind of fuchsia pink color is going to work. And I'll show you how scary that pink looks. But then when you put it on, it just gives the most beautiful, beautiful glow like this. It's really pretty. I really like it. Now I'll show you the difference because she puts fake lashes on and that is a huge difference for the pinup look. So um, I will go get that stuff. Actually I have it right here. And we'll just make sure I have the right lashes because you want to use the right demi set of lashes so you're not like cutting and chopping. This is a good set. These are 53s from Salon Perfect. You can get them at Namie's too for pretty cheap. This I'm just going to kind of wiggle that back over and then what I'll do is I'll go and get your bottom ones really well and then I'll go back over with black liquid liner black pencil over the glue so if there's any ridges or bumps you kind of perfect that and oh my goodness I'm going to have to clean this eye up so here's your basic um, Megan Fox pinup look but you don't want to put all that glue on there <laughs> like I did. And we'll concentrate on other looks for her too, but this is the kind of basic nude eye with fun false lashes and a really pink, a pink little pouty mouth. You can take some white highlight and put it on there to make your lips look extra big and, and glamorous. So we'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye. Hi guys, so we're back with one quick second. I forgot to tell you, I want to highlight that inner corner. So you can take a color like this. This is from the Balm, the Shady Lady one, which I love. Or Naked Lunch or any of those colors. But this is Luscious Lonnie. And you're going to take your fluffy brush. And just make sure you get right in the corner right here. And it just gives that beautiful kind of glammy look. And you can go right underneath the eyebrows too. And then you have your really kind of dark winged, um, but kind of sheer and light eye just dark on the corner. So there's our final uh, Megan Fox kind of fun pinup look. And I'm going to do be, I'm going to be doing more of her looks. So keep an eye out for the videos. Have a great day, guys, and have fun playing with your makeup. Bye.